Do you ever feel like you're just wasting too much time sending the same emails? What if I told you there's a way to automate those repetitive responses using Outlook or Gmail? Two words, email signatures. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Liz Moyer. I'm a total nerd and I like to give you things that can help make your day just a little bit easier. So if you know how to use email signatures, great, but there's a way you can take it to the whole next level. Let's jump in and I'll show you how. All right, so we're all familiar with signatures. We go to new mail, request insert and signature, and I just put my signature block. Cool, beautiful, pretty. But what are those things, and this is what I want you to do, put in the comments, what are those things that you have to do that are repetitive? Maybe you are in a front office and you've got a lot of administrative items to do. So for me, I work with a reserve and people ask a lot of questions. I can click on this signature block that I've created just once and here's all the information you need to know if I'm sending it to a reserve candidate. All right, so another example, weekly action reports. You can click on this, very, very short and sweet. It is standardized and says, hey, this is when the war is due, here's the link, boom, there you go. Guys, this literally works for anything. If you are prepping something for your leader and hey, here are the individuals that we want to recognize. Here is your template, you go in, you put the details in there, and then you can go to Camo GPT, copy that and say, hey, how can I make this sound different or better? And you're done. If you have a new person that you are trying to welcome to the organization, click on this. Now they've got the details and you've got those frequently asked questions. And as people respond back, you can add to that. This works for finance. If you are trying to put someone on a line of accounting, that's an example of it. If you are trying to cross org them in the defense travel system, all of these things you can go in. So how do you do this? Here are my created signatures, but I can go in, I press view, view settings, compose and reply. And you can see here, these are all the ones that I've made. Just do new signature. And you can just say, hey, what is a repetitive task that you do? Maybe you are asking someone to give you accountability, like a, is everyone here for the day? Are there any concerns? And then you've got your, you know, greeting, you've got your content, and then, you know, put whatever else you need to in there. You can then put in your signature block and you press save. And now that concern issue is there and I can insert that in here, insert signature and concern issue. And then there you go. Pretty simple. I know not everyone uses Outlook or at home we use a Gmail. So let me show you that real quick. On Gmail, go to your settings, general and signature. Same thing, you can create a new one. So you can see here's an example here. When I do coaching for leadership, I've got my content and now I don't have to remember what I want to tell them. I've got all that information in here. Same thing when I like to interview people, when I do that on YouTube, got the information. And now all I have to do is just fill that in. So, yep, you create a new one and you say, hey, I wanna keep in touch with a friend or I want to maybe send a update, right? I just say update create and say, here is what is going on. And go to the bottom, press save changes. There you go. I want to share with you one more trick that is super helpful. I'm really excited. I'm going to have Melissa on and check out the YouTube on that, where she talks about how you can take this to the very next level where you can automate these emails. So going back here, if we go to view and we do view settings, I want to talk about you making sure that you do not miss important emails. Let's say you come into work, you've only got five minutes or, you know, you're working from home and family's going crazy and you just want to make sure you're not missing that important email. You can go to rules. You can create a rule and this can be important. And what you'll do is you'll say, if I get an email from my boss, then I create an action and I move it and I put it to a specific folder. I can create a new folder and I can say important and I press save. I can then add that so I can take the three individuals that I get emails from. Maybe this is your spouse. Maybe this is your boss or just someone you want to. Maybe you're looking for that wait list for childcare and you just want to make sure you don't miss it. Go in and set that rule and now you won't miss it. Uh, this is just a great way to very quickly scan your email. We get so, so, so many emails. Um, of course, I just taught you how to send more emails, but it is just part of 
life. We can't get away from it, but we can become more efficient. So if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe.